Hey guys, what's up? It's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a venom cake. Now, personally, I feel like this one is long overdue. I so wish I had gotten to make one with the release of the first movie, but with Venom 2 coming out soon, the timing could not be more perfect and I cannot wait to see it because I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little Tom Hardy fix. Even bond it with a symbiote, that man is not hard to look at. But we're not here to talk about him, we're here to make an awesome cake. So let's get into it. So Venom's face is a little bit on the longer side, so we need a longer sized cake. So I'm using an 11 by 7 inch chocolate cake layer, which I'm actually not going to level off because I want to keep as much height as possible, but I am going to torque this into two separate layers so we can add a nice thick layer of icing in between and bring that height up even more. So once I'm done that part, we're going to get our cake attached to our cake board, and then I'm going to use this template to cut out the shape of the cake we need. Now once I've cut out the shape, we're going to take our cake scraps and we're going to save them to the side because I may need them later on if I need to build up the face to mold it anymore, but I'm not sure so we're just going to save it just in case. So I'm going to get this filled and trimmed up and then I'll come back and show you guys the next step in carving. guys so we have our rough shape cut out and the next step before we start carving which I feel is very important is we need to put this in the fridge or freezer to chill for a little bit because you really want to firm up these layers of cake before you start cutting into it so that way it doesn't start falling apart so we're gonna get this into the fridge and you can also use the freezer as well depending on how quickly you need it to chill but we're gonna put ours in the fridge and as soon as it's ready when we come back we're gonna start carving Okay, so our cake is chilled and I have decided that I do want to build up the forehead just a tiny little bit. So I've mixed up a little bit of cake pop mixture and it's just a little bit of icing, a very small amount, and some of the cake crumbs and we've mixed it up until it's fully combined so that way it should mold together nicely. So we're just going to take a little bit at a time and I'm going to form it until I'm happy with how it looks and then we're going to trim around the edges a little bit just to round everything off and then we can start carving out the back. Okay, so we've sculpted a little bit with some cake pop mixture and I have carved down all the sides to round them off so it's already starting to look really cool. So the next thing we're going to do is mark off the mouth like I said and what we're going to do is take our stencil and lay this back on the top and as you can see I have the lines cut out where the mouth is going to go and we're just going to cut those ever so slightly with a small serrated knife. Then we're going to pull off our stencil and we'll be able to carve out the section where the mouth is going to go. And then we're going to add all kinds of teeth and the 3D tongue. It's going to look so cool. Alright, so we're going to get this into place. Mark it off. And then we'll start carving it out. Okay, what do you guys think so far? I think it looks so freaky already. I can't wait to see it when it's finished. All right, so it's time for a crumb coat. So what we're gonna do is use the rest of our black American buttercream, and it's chocolate by the way, and we're just gonna give it a nice thin coat all over the entire cake. And what that's gonna do is help seal in all these crumbs, and it's gonna give us a nice surface to help the fondant bond too.
we finished our crumb coat and I think he's really starting to come together. You can really tell who this is now. So the next thing we're going to do is get this off in the fridge and chill for just a few minutes because we want this to crust over. And while we're waiting, I'm going to work a nice big piece of black fondant and warm it up and we're going to get it rolled out so we can get this cake covered up. Okay, our cake is firmed up nicely. So now we're going to take our extra large rolling pin and we're going to use this to pick up our freshly rolled fondant. And you're just going to roll it over one side so that it drapes and you don't get any fingerprints when you're putting it on your cake. I'm just going to lay that in place and then we're going to work it with our fingers and some maybe, maybe some Dresden tools as well to get into all the nooks and crannies and then we're going to trim around the edge and then we can start working on some finer details. Alright friends, it's time for the fun part. We're going to make this cake come to life. So we're going to start with the eyes first. So as you can see, I've drawn up a stencil and this is just kind of a mashup of a couple of different images I found online because I couldn't find one specific one that I liked so I just threw a few different ones together. So we're going to use that as a guideline. So as you can see I cut out the eyes and we're just going to use these little pieces to put on the cake and find the placement we like and sort of mark them off. Then I'm going to come in with my Dresden tools and we're going to start giving it some more realistic features like it's sinewy neck muscles and some veins and whatnot. And then we're going to use the same stencil to cut out the shape of the eyes, get those into place, and then we'll start working on the mouth. So we finished the eyes and now it's on to the mouth like I said. So I think we're going to work on the tongue first because I think it would be easier to stick the teeth in around the tongue as opposed to put in the tongue after the teeth are in and then you might knock them all out so that would be silly. So we're going to do the tongue first. So I have a piece of red here and I've added a tiny little bit of tilo powder to it. I don't want it to get super hard but I want it to be a little bit easier to work with because we want to make it look like it's sticking out in 3D. So we're going to start that, get that into place. I'm going to use my dressing tools to make it look all cool and freaky like his tongue is and then we're going to move on to the teeth. All right guys, the tongue is done and I think it looks super cool, but he looks kind of like an old man. We need to get him some teeth. So what we're gonna do for that is take one of our dressing tools and it's got the little pointy tip on the end here, as you can see. And we're gonna use this to poke holes where each tooth is going to go. So that way we can anchor them kind of into place. So once I get all those holes done, we're gonna take some white fondant with some Tylo powder in it, just a tiny little bit. And we're gonna make tiny little snake shapes that are going to come to a point of all different lengths as well and we're going to stick them into place using just a tiny little bit of water. So once I get that all finished up, I will show you guys the finished result.
And ta-da, here he is. Doesn't he look fantastic? I just love how it turned out. I think it looks so cool. And that 3D effect, I think, looks amazing. Mind you, it did take a really long time to make all the teeth, making them by hand, picking the placement, and sticking them all into place. But I don't think it could have been done any other way. I think this just looks too good. And as you guys can see, I also finished it off with a light brushing of water all over to give it that slimy wet look like Venom has, which I think turned out super cool. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the cake and I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you guys did, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up and leave me lots of love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.